Hamahama is a rural family-owned company. So here in Mason County, we're quite a bit off the beaten path for a small town to have a place that um, can provide income and stable jobs to the folks that live in this area. It's definitely a really cool thing to have continue over, you know, almost 100 years. We do 150,000 pounds of mussels a year, which I would consider on the small side of things. We have five full-time employees and one part-timer. This is a rural area here, so jobs in rural areas all over the country, really, those are golden. Shellfish farming is year-round, and it allows people to live in beautiful places like this, but also have a job to provide for their families. We're dependent on climate to have a, a job and to produce oysters or gooey duck or kelp or whatever it is. I think the general understanding is that something in the ecosystem is out of balance. Things have changed a little bit. We notice little things. Shellfish takes longer to grow or the birds don't migrate anymore like they used to. Water temperatures are different. We see things out here that are changing a little bit. We know that acidification is just going to be getting worse and worse as humans pump more and more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Humans aren't really geared to detect those subtle changes in time to save ourselves. I guess that's why we depend on atmospheric researchers to tell us the truth about what's happening, <laughs> and we better believe them. It is definitely something in the forefront of our minds that could affect later in our lifetime, but definitely the next generation. Um, and so any sort of education we can do and get more people involved, the better. And I think that is what makes this profession really unique and interesting, is how people can collaborate and work together when we're dealing with Mother Nature. Being able to share information is crucial to understanding what problem there might be. What's happening at our farm here today might happen at our neighbor's farm tomorrow. You know, we like to do everything we can to foster and protect this land and this livelihood so that it is still a, a job producer and, and something that we can still continue to do for the next hundred years and the hundred after that. <laughs>